Good morning. It's Monday, May 23rd, 2022. The Kitty Hawk is due to arrive a week from tomorrow. I wanted to give a little shout out to the Kitty Hawk veterans, family of veterans, and others interested in the Kitty Hawk of what to expect when you get to South Padre and uh, what the location at the arrival looks like. What we're looking at here is the Cameron County Amphitheater at Isla Blanca Park. This will be the site of the welcoming ceremonies and you'll be able to see the Kitty Hawk from this amphitheater. The tall building on the other side of the RV park is the Sapphire Condominiums and the small building to the right of that is the Pearl. International ship breaking Cameron County and the Port of Brownsville will be hosting the event at the amphitheater. I'm going to take a little break in the video here and show you the announcement that International Shipbreaking put out earlier this week. As we turn to the east here, you'll see the South Padre Island jetties. This is where the Brownsville Ship Channel begins. This is where the Michelle Falls and the Kitty Hawk will enter the Brownsville Ship Channel. As we rotate to the south, Boca Chica Beach is coming into view. This is the site of the final battle of the American Civil War. Down the beach, a ways out on the horizon, is the new SpaceX South Texas facility. What you're looking at there is the launch pad. They've done a few hops from there, but no real flight yet. As we rotate a little further to the south, the SpaceX assembly area where they build the rockets is coming into view. As we rotate to the east-southeast, the Brownsville Ship Channel comes into view and approximately 12.5 nautical miles from this point is international ship breaking, which is the final destination for the Kitty Hawk. Off to the east here is my home at Long Island Village and Port Isabel. Looking to the northeast is the Queen Isabella Causeway. It's just over two miles long and it's the only access on and off of South Padre Island. Now looking back to the north, we've returned to the Cameron County Amphitheater where the events will take place. Looking back to the north, the Sapphire Condominiums and the Pearl Hotel come back into view. I've been chatting with Mike Haley, who has the Facebook group Last Flight of the Hawk, and understand that he's putting together a, uh, like a hospitality suite for the veterans. I'll let him clarify that in the comments. I just decided to throw this in. I'm concerned about the traffic over these La Blanca, and I want to fly the drone and get some good video of the Kitty Hawk. I've already got the audio done. Of course, it's about 30 minutes long. So anyway, I put a launch pad on the bow of my boat, so I'll just go out and anchor down somewhere and fly off of it and chase the Hawk 